Hello and welcome back to another video on Inkscape. In this video I'm just going to quickly show you how you can create center guides for a page. One thing to note is the top left hand corner of your page will be at point zero, zero. So we need to calculate half the distance of our page. Objects already have their midpoint calculated by Inkscape. So if we could create an object exactly the same size as our page, we'd better use that to our benefit. So if we come over to snapping, we want to enable snapping. We want to enable the second section, snapping to nodes. We want to snap to cusp nodes, which are corner nodes. And we want to snap to miscellaneous points and snap to object midpoints. Down the bottom, we want to have snapping to page on and snapping to guides on. So now if we come up, we can grab our rectangle tool. So all we're going to do is come up to the top left hand corner of the page and drag out a rectangle till it snaps to the bottom right hand corner of the page. So now we've got a shape that's exactly the same size as our page. And as you can see, we've got a midpoint already calculated in the center. So all we need to do now is if we come up to the top, grab hold of a guide from our top ruler, drag it down, we can snap it to the object midpoint. And then we can do the same from the left. So we go over to the ruler, hold down our button and drag in the guide, snap it to the midpoint. So now we know that these guides are exactly in the center of our page. We can then select the object behind, press delete, and we've just left with our two guidelines on our page. One thing you want to do though is just come up to the top left hand corner and click on this lock icon and that locks the two guidelines in position so you can no longer accidentally move them. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you want to learn anything else about snapping or guides, you can click on the link above or come and have a look at my channel. There's plenty more tuition videos there as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.